Hello everyone, welcome back to building with Benito. So here we have the forge all laid out nicely as I got it done last time. I've redone the sort of lava flow area so it's a bit more stone brick. You know, it's a bit more mixed in now. I think it looks better. Um, what I did last episode, remember I was trying to make this water trough here and uh, it just it was too big and all that. And I realised, you know, it looked a bit silly so I got rid of it. But I didn't realise something really, really obvious. One of my uh, subscribers, G D D Jerv, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, sorry, but he sent me a image of another forge, and the f I had a cold on it. I was like, why didn't I think of that? It's so obvious. So yeah, thanks to, to D Jerv, or however you pronounce your name. Uh, I don't know if I want it there. We'll leave that there for now, but you know, it's just an added touch that you would logically have. You know, you get your molten metal, you forge it, you then um, temper it, and then using the fire to keep it heated, and put it out in the water. So, mm, very good, very good. So, I did a bit of exploring off camera because I was looking for some jungle wood, which I have now. So, I went and got a load of jungle wood. Uh, I've done a bit of mining, as you can see, so. And what I need to get is, where is it, there it is, uh, while I was out getting the jungle wood I also got this uh, cocoa beans, and that was the main reason I went on this little trip, to get the cocoa beans, so I'm just going to put this here, I'm going to grow cocoa beans on it for now, I'll make a proper place to grow these later, for now I just need some to grow, because um, I am playing in the most recent snapshot. I completely forgot to mention these are now diable. So, whoops. There we go. Ooh, one more. There we go. So these are now diable. These are baked clay blocks. So it's something I really want to try and do. Get a bit of variation in the village, uh, the slummy area. I could change these ones here, around here, to be a slightly different colour. Just while I went and got the cocoa beans. But, but while I was on that little adventure, I found a desert temple so I went way over that way, like 2,000 blocks that way. And I found something in that desert temple. Ha, ah, gold horse armor. So the issue I'm having is I'm pretty sure when I started this world, I put extra large biomes on. And in regards, that was a mistake. Because <laughs> I need to go 2,000 blocks just to get out of this extreme hills biome. So, the odds of me ever being able to find a horse to use those saddles with, pretty low. Pretty low indeed. Oh, I don't need this jungle wood anymore. But yeah, so I have this armor. I'm not going to look for a horse anytime soon. The thing I've noticed is, as soon as the horses came out, everyone sort of switched over to doing either western style or saloon style. Or, you know, all their builds are now, whoa, that was quick. All their builds are now suddenly revolving around these horses, and I don't want to do that. I want to stick with my plan. Get the sky, the sky um, sort of city done. And I've got some plans. I've been um, sort of inspired by some people who I play with and who are watching YouTube. And if we just go up here quick, I mean, we've got these simple little huts, and you know, these are basic for me. Who skeleton residue? So these are very basic, even for me. But if you look at the way I've done that building, it's sort of, for me, for me, for me it's new, having this like, designed wall edging. And that's new to me. Because most sign builds used to be more like this. Where you have a single flat wall that has everything on it. So you can see we've got brick, wood, and more brick, a bit of glass. So this was my building style. I'm trying to move away from that into some more detailed things. I mean, obviously it's easier with um, certain things like the Feed the Beast mod pack. You got micro blocks and all that, so you can do a lot more. But we don't obviously have that in vanilla. So what I'm planning to do next is I want to build a sort of research tower, and I want on one of the hills to size. Let me just turn my view distance up. To far, and I can get an idea of where I want to put this because I want it on a hilltop. Maybe over there might be a good place. 
Over there is where we have the uh, skeleton spawner, so I could do something over there later. Maybe up there, I just want to get a good view of it. Because what I thought of doing is using this cracked, uh, not the cracked, the baked, sorry, this baked stone to make a sort of white tile or a light coloured tile to go with some quartz. So together that would sort of, how's this looking? Because it's sort of flat around here, I could build something quite big. Because I want it to look like a uh, scientific... So for those who've played Bioshock Infinity, that's the sort of theme I want to go with, you know. Early 1900s. So yeah, maybe around here. Because that's obviously going to be the main tower that leads up to where all the sky islands are. Or I could put it behind there so it's out of the way. Hmm. I think here might be good if I do some terraforming. Right, let's go grab some supplies and we're going to do a sort of basic layout. It's going to be like a sort of lab that's going to be how they research the technology to get things actually floating up in the air. God, those grow quick. So what we're going to do is grab these for a start. We're going to have loads of them at this rate. I need to make an automated system for this. But yeah, we'll come through here. I will deposit these. And thankfully I've got a bone on me. I need some hardened clay. And to dye hardened clay, you just put eight around a block of uh, whatever, eight these blots around a die and you'll get eight blots back. So how's that? That is sort of pinky. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. Oops. Okay. So I'm not sure if I like this one. And I'm not sure if you can die them back. So let's have a quick look at that. Let's get the a bit of ink sack. Let's see if it if it will go to like grey or if it will just go to black. Okay, so it looks like once they're dyed, that's it. So what I want to try and do is make a few different colours. Let's get a grey dye and a light light grey dye. I just want to compare these because those do look sort of pinkish. That looks sort of browny. But I suppose it makes sense. I mean, they are brownish colours to start with. This dark brown actually looks quite good, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get quite a few colours and lay them out so we can have a nice selection to look at. So I will be right back once I have that. Okie dokie then. We've got a little line up here of the different colours. We have black, grey, light grey, white, yellow, orange, red, purple, blue. Um, I'm not a big fan of the purple, I don't quite like that. This, These ones look nice, I do like those. And now I've actually got them a bit away from here, they do look a bit cleaner than they first did, so it might be usable. What I want to do, god those grow quick, what I want to do is compare quickly. So I've got a load of leftover dye in here, obviously I don't have all the colours yet. So what I want to do is just throw those away, grab some quartz. Go, whoops. Okay, let's get some quartz going. And I just want to compare how the quartz looks compared to the white uh, white clay blocks. Ooh, that is a lot cleaner. Mm. That might work actually, having this as a base material and then having, say, that up the sides. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to take me some fort. I need to go farm a lot more clay because I've actually used it all now. I'm going to leave that there for now. Rainbow. And, uh, God, look how quick this grows. Because I do want to get some of the brown ones to go in contrast to some of these just red sort of colours. So that's all good. As you can see, we've already got 18 left. Which is very good. So I'm out of uh, stained clay. I've only got what I have here. But we're going to go a bit, do a bit of terraforming while I talk about stuff. Let's get some dirt. Okay, so uh, with what's been going on, I'm getting, I've started to get quite a few messages now. It's got to the point where, you know, people are watching my videos and they want to do collabs with me. Unfortunately, at the moment, I'm a bit busy. <laughs> 
I'm just a bit too busy for that sort of thing. So um, I'm trying to I just, yeah, I'm trying to say nicely, uh, thanks, but no thanks. So at the moment, I'm running my four series: um, Don't Starve, Building with Benito, Hypermine, and Terra Firma Craft and Nicosi. And they're the four series I'm sticking with for now. Uh, Don't Starve is probably one I'm going to end soon though, seeing as it's nearing its end. For me anyway. Because it's not getting that many views. And it's a lot of fun. But it's just that, you know. I'm playing it for fun. But I feel like I could be getting another series out that people would enjoy more. Um, in its place so if I had the time I'd do both but I just I don't because I'm currently looking for a job so let's grab these yeah I think that's everything so I want to get rid of this tree and I want to flatten it out to about this level I think this will get me a good sort of level that I can work on for this uh, lab but yeah um people who want to do collabs with me i'm afraid until either one of my minecraft series ends that's not going to be it but um the one i can expect to end not soon because we've only just started is uh the terra firma craft and the cozy that's the only series i see having a definitive end to hypermine is going to be around for a long time to come because there's so much to do you know the guys in there are all great and everything, so that's one that's going to be sticking around for a while. Um, but yeah, I need to do some more recording with the cozy before um, Terra Firma Craft. Hope to get some done tonight. Okay, obviously, what you see is usually I record it just one day beforehand, so there's sometimes some stuff that's happened since then, but um, usually. What I do is I'll finish a recording and then I'll log off whatever I'm playing. So if it's on this, I'll finish what I'm doing, uh, finish the recording, do a few finishing touches, and then you know log off, maybe do some hypermine or something like that, and get whatever the next series is ready for the next episode. So say I'm doing this today, I'm going to go on hypermine when I'm done with this and get um, you know supplies and stuff ready for the next episode and it's uh, vice versa for uh, for Hypermine. The reason that is is because you know it's about 24 hours between the time I finish and the time you guys see the video so leaving it like that gives it gives you guys time to leave comments leave feedback you know I love like I said like in this episode I mean that cauldron idea I could have just done it but I decided it'd be best to leave it until I actually record that way I could give Jerv <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your name. I'm not sure how, but so I could give him credit for the I for sending me the link, which is very useful. But yeah, um when it comes to this I wanna get this set up and just do a sort of basic shape. I'll just make it out of cobblestone for now, since that's the one thing I have in abundance. <laughs> Go away leaves. There we go. So I'm gonna need a bit more dirt to finish this off. And I think this is a big enough area for what I want. And I'm not sure if I want to go with a tower design or a flat design, because it's a lab. So what I may do, what I might do, is set up a sort of something here obviously. But I might then extend it underground. And that way I can put some redstone contraptions in like say an automatic um what are they call cocoa bean harvester you know I could put things in like that in the underground section and that could be like the secret lab section but yeah it's um just a matter of trying to think up what I'm gonna do because I like I said I'm trying to focus more on my building in this series there's a lot of stuff just grab it there's probably going to be a bit of wood left in there, isn't there? Yep, there it is. Eh, can I get it? Nope. Let's go get that. 
There we go. And let's get the shovel back. So I need a new shovel soon, looking at it. I enchanted an axe yesterday because I noticed I was getting quite near to level 30. So I just went down to the skeleton grinder and farmed a few more levels to get the axe. And uh, probably the best axe you can get, really. Efficiency and unbreaking is really all you need. And then the silk touch just means I can use it to farm leaves or something as well. Don't know if I can get ice with it, that'd be worth testing. But there we go, that's all terraformed. Let's go grab. Ow. Let's go grab some stone so we can do a basic outline for the lab. God, those grow so quick. I'm not even gonna bother, I'm just gonna leave them. <laughs> right, I need to eat. Deposit this wood. Deposit the plants. Get rid of this. That's a plant. Get rid of the zombie flesh. Okay, so I need a load of cobblestone. That should do. So this is just going to be doing the general outline today. Uh, it's mostly a talky episode rather than a buildy episode. So let's hop up here again. I need to make a sort of pathway up to here as well. If I do it, send it underground, I might put a little entrance way down there or something. That would be quite cool. You'd have all this security. But yeah, just have no way in up here. Have it only accessible from down there. That would be quite cool. So let's say we have the front wall here. Let's say this overlooks the whole thing. Okay, so let's bring this two out. Yeah, that's right. Oh, why does it always have to be night time? Okay, so let's just bring it out like this. I just want to give it a bit of a shape to it that's not just square. Okay, so that actually needs to come out like this. So this is where I can put different shaped rooms into it. And I think that would be a good idea. Rather than just having it a solid square, because squares are too easy at this point. Gonna have to terraform this a bit actually. Let's not terraform it. Let's run it along here. And we'll just expand it when it gets to about here. Actually, yes, have it go out like this. There we go. So, yeah, it's got a bit more randomness to it now. And we can add some various rooms in here. I don't like this, this is too straight. I have to do something about that wall. I might put the stove down. That looks quite cool actually. You can see all the lights starting to show up now and the builds, which I think is going to look quite cool. I think, yeah, if we go with a flat design with this, I could make, say, this section here a. Yeah, I could make this section here into a tower above it, so. Let me change this area so it's sort of small square. This is count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's an easy fix though. Okay, so all we want to do is change these. So it's at seven aside. Then this needs to be lined up to here. Take that one out. Let's go one, two, and I'll move this out one more. That way, this is that area is more squared off, and I can actually turn it into a tower. And then we'll just bring this out like this. So I need to get rid of this bit of hillside. Fill this in. Actually, if we look at it like this, we got. Two, two, no, bring this two. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. Yeah. So there'd be a sort of tower on this part. You know, maybe with a lightning rod or something cool like that. But I'm just sectioning it off for now so I can get a good idea where things are going to go. Then we could say have this be a separate area. That could be a room for stuff. Um, still a bit iffy about this bit. Problem is that bit goes out and this bit doesn't, which is what's throwing me off. 
This bit obviously won't be this square. We'll change that when we get to building it. For now, I need to go farm a load of clay, and I need to go farm a load of um, quartz as well if we're going to do it that way. Quartz fences would be awesome, but don't have them. Because I want this to be the first proper looking building, and I haven't actually done the a modern theme before, so it'd be quite a challenge. Can you see it? Hello. Go away. I haven't done a modern theme before, so it'd be quite a challenge to do. Um, I think I'm going to leave it there. Just a short video today, because I've got a lot to do. I might, if things keep up the way they're going, I might end up putting two videos up a day. So let me know what you think about that. If I put up two videos a day, would you would you like it? Would you watch them? All that. What would you like to see most? And uh, yeah, just stuff and things like that. So thanks for watching as always, and I will see you all next time. Toodles.